Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I have teamed up with Timu once again to bring you guys a try on makeup haul. I have a basket full of goodies that we're going to be playing with today. I'm going to be creating two different looks because I got two eyeshadow palettes in here. We're going to put this makeup to the test. We're going to see what it's all about. If you guys want to see my Timu try on haul in action, keep on watching. So for those of you that might be unfamiliar with Timu, Timu is a Boston, Massachusetts based brand. Their parent company is from China, but Timu sells pretty much anything and everything you could think of at some amazing prices. When I say amazing prices, guys, nothing that I have in this basket is over $11. Um, they sell stuff for the house. They sell makeup, beauty items. They sell clothes. I mean, they just sell so much stuff. I am planning to do another Timu haul. We're going to continue to work together because I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked at everything I've been able to see on their website. I do want to mention that Timu does offer free shipping and if you're unsatisfied with anything, free returns for 90 days. Definitely head on over to their website. Everything will be linked in the description box. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think. And this is my second time collaborating with Timu. So thank you so much, Timu, for working with me on today's video and sending me these amazing products. Let's get started with applying this makeup. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to see what all this Timu makeup is all about. Okay, so before we begin the application process, I want to just cover some of the tools I'm going to be using in today's video. So I got this little four pack of sponges they come in this really cute carrying case and I've already wet one of them there's different colors in those by the way and this is the one I'm gonna be using this one is already damp uh, again nothing in this haul is over $11 this is the brush set that I chose I chose green so it could match the sponges and if you guys saw my last Timu video, it was like an unboxing video up close showing you guys swatches and showing you guys the products. These are the brushes that I got, but unfortunately I wasn't very impressed. Haven't tried them yet. I did spray them down already with some brush cleaner, so I'm hoping we can create something good with these, but I do like the little pouch that it comes in. Um, and I think, oh, can't forget this. This is the cutest thing ever. The color switch. Look at that. And the cat. I love cats. Cats are my favorite. So I'm definitely going to be using all of these tools while I'm getting myself ready for the day. Oh, and a couple last things. Things that I'm not going to be using on camera. I did uh, kind of do a scent test on this in my last Timu video. This is, uh, I think, a knockoff for that famous brand that starts with a D. I'm sure you guys know which one I'm referring to. This one is called Miss Sweet. This is, it's a nice perfume. It's just a little too strong for my liking, but the packaging on this, this is a glass bottle. Bottle. This is nice. I mean, this is even just pretty to have sitting on your vanity, but I won't be wearing that today. These little tinkle razors, I use them all the time. So I'm definitely happy that I was able to pick this up. This was like a buck. So first up, we're going to go with primer. And this is the primer that I chose. This is going to be kind of like a color correcting primer. It does come with a pump. This is an airtight container, but it's a plastic bottle. And so as you can see, I'm hoping you guys can see that. You do have like those different colors in there and that's gonna all help just to color correct the skin in case you have a little bit of uh, discoloration, whether it be dark spots, you have um, some redness to the complexion. I have a little bit of both. This feels so hydrating though. This is definitely a hydrating primer. I think if you're full on oily skin, you might want to skip your T-zone with this one and maybe pick up one of the matte primers if you're trying to do like a, a Timu haul the way I did. Um, they have different, they just have everything. Like guys, they have 
everything on that website. I'm so excited to try some of their clothes. That is definitely the haul that I want to do next. So be on the lookout for that. That might be coming up soon. This feels really good though. This feels really good. There is no real, there's a little bit of a scent to it. It's kind of like a makeup, maybe with a slight perfume scent, but it feels so good. Like it feels really hydrating and there is a bit of a tack to it. Now I didn't pick up a foundation in this haul. Instead, I picked up two different concealers. So I picked up this little concealer in a pot. This one is the uh, Pop Feel Full Cover Concealer. And this is what it looks like. This, I remember when I swatched it, it wasn't as full coverage as I thought it was. So I think I'm going to not use this all over the face. Instead, I'm going to use one of these over here. And this is a full cover concealer. It's flawless, matte, long lasting, and it's waterproof. Sace Lady is the brand on it. And I remember one of these I couldn't get open. I have shade one and I have shade three. I'm hoping shade three is the one no shade three is the one that just doesn't want to pump out so if anything like this happens if anything is broken if anything doesn't work just know you can always return it you have 90 days free returns with timu okay so we're gonna have to go with shade one today because that one i know and actually i think shade one Shade one is going to be a good match for me. Um, I'm not seeing a foundation brush in that brush set. So I'm just going to use the damp makeup sponge that I picked up. And we're going to start bouncing away. Oh my goodness. This is, this is full coverage, isn't it? The shade doesn't look too bad either. I might have pumped out way too much. Let me know if you guys have ordered anything from the brand. What have you guys been enjoying? What have you not been enjoying? I'm just I'm just looking forward to trying more. I'm a, I'm glad I was able to to work with them to do this haul video for you guys and and not just like unbox everything and show you guys everything up close but to also do this try on haul and I'm happy that there's more to come because they reached out and they wanted to work with me again. So <laughs> I'm always happy. I'm always happy when, when, you know, I can work with different brands, just try new things, see what works, see what doesn't. That way you guys don't have to try it first. Like you can see how it works on me and then you can make a decision based off of that. But I mean, who doesn't need affordability right now in just about anything and everything in life, you know? So I want to say this concealer was probably less than $5. Maybe it was $3. I, I don't exactly remember. But I'll have the products that I used. They are going to be listed in the description box. And I think I have a code. I think I have a code with Timu. I'll have to double check. But everything, please check the description box for all of the information regarding today's video. Okay, I am so impressed by the coverage of this. Wow, this would be actually something really great to travel with. Like it's small, it's lightweight, it's in an airtight container, it's a plastic bottle, not a glass bottle. I mean, this would be perfect. It's a little too dark for me, but hey, Spring and summer are upon us. I'm going to get a little bit of a tan, so I think this will just be perfect. And plus, I don't mind with my foundation. It's just a tad darker than um, my neck. I think, it's, I think it's fine. Okay, so I still had a lot left on the back of my hand. I'm going to, I just want to try the pot concealer um, just to see, you know, how it's going to work. This concealer brush, I am really excited for. Does it have a number? It's the M08 concealer brush. So I'm just going to dip in here. And let's see if this can offer a brightening. I don't think that this concealer is going to be for me, though. Yeah, I'm not. 
it was too I, I don't think that this is the the enough coverage and i'm not really liking the consistency of it so i would maybe pass on this one but definitely get this one so i'm gonna take what's left on the back of my hand which is quite a bit and i'm just gonna focus that under the eye area and we're using, you know, concealer as foundation and concealer today. And that's quite all right. I like this brush. This brush is a dupe, feels like a dupe for one of my favorites that you guys see me use pretty often. And I love the shape. I love that it's densely packed. Okay, guys, we are, we're covered. We are fully, fully covered. And you can see that this concealer, it's definitely not matte. Like, it definitely has a glow to it. And that could also be the primer underneath. But I do have powder here that we're going to use to set the face with. So hopefully uh, that'll take all this glowiness down a few notches. Because I am a normal to oily skin type. I am 41 years old. And uh, I'll get glowy on my own throughout the day. This is the setting powder that I picked up. This one is um, it's an oil control setting powder. It's a loose powder and it's in shade 01. Now it does come with a puff and it does come sealed. And this is one of the pack of three or four sponges that I picked up from uh, that Timu haul. So I'm going to use one of these. And I just had poured some powder out in the cap. All right, so you can definitely see the powder. It took down that dewiness quite a bit. I'm liking it. They're meshing well together. And I even added, I'm adding a little bit, just pressing with whatever was left on the sponge out here. Uh, I am going to be going in with some uh, powder uh, products like a bronzer and um, blush and highlighter. I don't have a setting spray, so I'm not going to use any setting spray in today's look. I want to keep everything to the stuff I got from Timu. Now, this right here, this is going to be the bronzer slash contour that I picked up. There is a highlighter there in the center. So this is definitely more contour than it is bronzer. So let's try this out. This is called Novo. And what does it say? Is there a shade on here? No, it doesn't have a shade. I want to say there were a couple though, a couple different shades to choose from. So now I'm going to use one of the brushes. Uh, which one do I want to start off with? I'm not, uh, I'm not very excited about these brushes. I think I'll start with this one. And let's start with the lightest contour shade first. And I'm going to go up here. It's a very, very light pigment. So if you are of a very fair complexion, and this might actually be perfect for you. This might be a shade that maybe you've never been able to find before because I know not many brands do this light of a contour shade. And definitely, I think this palette was less than $5. So this might be your new holy grail shade for those of you fair skin beauties out there. Yeah, you can see that it is providing a little bit of warmth to the complexion, not a lot. I'm gonna try dipping into the darker shade now. I just wanna see how they mesh with one another. So again, this is gonna be more contour than it is bronzer. I don't remember why I didn't get a bronzer. I don't know, maybe the one I wanted was sold out because some things definitely have been selling out. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to use the lighter one for my cheekbones. I'm keeping that really close to the hairline and I'm going down here. Normally with bronzer, I would put it up here. Since this is going to be more contour, I want it to contour the cheekbone. Not impressed with the brush. 
but it's getting the job done. The brush is just too flimsy in my opinion. Now I'm going to contour my nose. I'm using the lightest shade still. Okay, so I think that looks nice. It's a very soft contour shade. Again, this is going to be perfect for those of you who are of a very fair complexion. Next, for blush, I have this blush palette, which uh, I don't think I'm going to use this. I remember when I swatched this. This didn't swatch well at all. There was hardly any pigmentation from it. The one I am most excited to use, though, is this one right here. This one, I think, is going to be a must-have for a lot of you. This is a glowy blush. And if you don't like glowy blushes, then, well, then maybe this is not going to be a must-have for some of you. But I like a good glowy blush. Here's an up-close look at it. Look how beautiful the imprint is. So we're going to go with this one right now. I'm going to use um, this brush right here. <laughs> the brushes are a pass, guys. Now with a glowy blush like this, you might not feel the need to add any highlighter with it. I am because I have got a new highlighter from Timu that I wanted to try out. This blush or this highlighter, this is shade one. It says 01. I just think it's a beautiful shade. These brushes aren't doing this blush justice because this blush swatched amazing. And since these brushes are really flimsy, they're not allowing me to get the payoff that I want. But you know, I just want to keep this to all Timu products, so I'm using what I have from the brand. From the store, I should say. Okay, I love that. Ooh, I love a good glowy blush, and I love the shade that it is. I think it is just so, so pretty. Fabulous. Definitely a must-have this blush right here. Next, we're going to go in with highlighter, and this is the one I chose. This is Movo natural beauty highlighter is there a specific shade it says 01 on the back i guess everything is 01 at least everything that i chose is shade 01 so this is a brush i'm going to use for highlighter and i think i'm just going to do this little number right here for these three shades whoa look at that oh look at that okay so this is a good one i think we all know what this is a dupe for this is beautiful. Maybe he'll put it up there. Okay, this could be one of my new favorite highlighters. This is stunning. And this brush is actually applying it really well too. I'm going to add a little bit of blush just to blend the two together. We're glowy. We're glowy goddess today. Now it's time for brows. Okay, so this is the brow pencil that I picked up. It has a spoolie on one end, and then it has a really fine, it's a triangular tip on the opposite end. The shade I have is number three. Yeah, it says gold bars eyebrow pencil. So let's see, let me brush my brows first. I The way I do my brows is I typically use a pencil or I use a powder first, and then I use a brow marker, which I didn't pick up a brow marker. I don't know if I didn't see the brow marker or if maybe my shade was sold out. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my brows with this pencil, but I think I am gonna add off camera a brow uh, marker just so that I can define them the way that I want them to look. Now I usually do the pencil or the powder to just kind of define the shape a little bit. And then I use the marker to just draw in those hair-like strokes. And I don't often do my brows on camera. I'm just, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say I'm insecure about my brows, but I guess I kind of am. So that's why I don't really do them on camera that often. But I'm liking the shade that this brow pencil is. It has some good pigment to it. And it's getting the job done. This is exactly 
what I want it to do at this point, this step in my brow routine, and just give some good base color. I always like my brow to be a little bit darker. I like them to be darker than my hair color. So this is a good pencil. And for some of you, you might want to keep your brows like this. I don't. I just want to add my brow pin. So I'm going to pop off camera, add those finishing touches to the brows, and then we're going to start creating the first look with the first eyeshadow palette. Okay, so brows are on to my liking. And since I didn't have an eyeshadow primer, I just used some of the concealer that I used as foundation just to apply that to the eyelids. And I'm not going to set it. So as you can see, it's already creasing a little bit. I'm just going to have to pat that out um, before we go in with the eyeshadow palette. So I have two different palettes. I have this one right here, which is the one I am most excited about. This is the Tin... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Tin Griff Glam Palette. It's called the Glam Palette. And I think we all know what this resembles. That famous, more expensive eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going to start with this one first. The other one that I picked up was this one right here, the Smoke and Roses palette, which let me just go ahead and show it to you already. I think you know which one this resembles. Um, this looks pretty. This looks pretty, but I will say out of the two palettes, when I swatched them out, this one swatched amazing. So that's why I want to start with this one first. I'm nervous about the eyeshadow brushes. You guys know I'm always using, you know, my regular eyeshadow brushes. You know which ones they are. So this is what we have to work with. I might have to pull in some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. I really wanted to keep this video to Timu stuff only, but um, I have a feeling I'm not going to have all of the brushes I need in this little set. So yeah, that'll be the only thing I bring in other than this eyebrow pen. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first with this matte shade right here. Start working that in the crease. This is a pretty shade. The brush is working. It is blending it out perfectly. Nice transition shade. Now guys, before I go any further with the eye look, I forgot I have like these little, um, they're like lip oils. What are they? They're, oh, it's a lipstick. But to me, they're more like little lip balms. So I'm just going to put one on. It was a pack of three, actually. And they feel so hydrating. Just to give us a little color. I do have, I have a liquid lipstick up here that I'm very excited about because that swatched really well. But these feel really, really hydrating and the packaging on them is super cute. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is this one right here. I'm going to work this in the crease and then I'm going to use this to deepen up the outer corner. Now I don't have the exact size of brush that I need uh, for this particular step. So I'm just going to use one of my favorite brushes. You guys know which one it is already. And we're going to work the shade in the crease, the lower crease and also on the outer corner. That is blending so well. I'm very impressed. I wanna say this palette was $8 or $10. This could have been one of the most expensive things in the haul. Maybe it was less than that. I don't remember, but whatever it was, it's not nearly the cost of what it's inspired by. Let's just put it that way. Okay, now with that same brush, I'm just going to pick up that darker matte and I'm going to focus that right out here. That's beautiful. Effortless. Matte shades, perfection. Now we got to add a shimmer. I think I want to do the silver shimmer. Let's try to use a combination of two different shimmers. So maybe I'll do this one right here and this one right here. I'm gonna start first with this one, then I'll work into this one. Now I know I have brushes in here because they gave us a lot of these like little brushes to do shimmer shadow work with. So I'm gonna pick up that product first and then I'm just gonna spray it with some setting spray. I'm gonna focus that right out here. Okay, same brush, I'm just gonna clean it off. 
flip it around to the other side and I'm going to go in with that silver shimmer and I'm going to spray it again. I just pick up the product and just spray it with some setting spray. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe I just forgot to get a setting spray or maybe they didn't have one. It's not usually something I forget if I know I'm going to do like a full face of a certain makeup brand. Maybe they were just out. Now I like that they gave us this little pointed brush. This brush I will definitely get a lot of use out of. And I'm going to pick up some of this shade right here. And I'm going to spray the brush. And focus that right in here, the inner corner. Okay, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm really happy that this palette is working. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to try this shimmer shadow right here. Let's see what that's about. And I guess I'm going to use this brush. I'm going to spray it as well so I don't get a lot of fallout from it. Okay, so I think this eye look is complete shadow wise. Now I picked up a couple different eyeliners. Some are colorful, some are black. Actually, no, this is, what is this? Yeah, this is a uh, pencil liner. So this is a gel black liner, but I also picked up a liquid black liner. And this is a uh, pen style. There we go. This is a, is that a brush tip or a felt tip? It looks like this is a felt tip. Is it? And it's hard to see. Okay, so I'm going to use this to line, tight line the top lash line. I did get a mascara as well. And it's easy to work with. It's easy to get like right in there in that inner corner. Perfect. Okay, exactly what I want a black eyeliner to do. Now, for the lower waterline, see, I have like these duochromes, but are they, yeah, no, these are like shadows. I think I'm going to save these for the second look. Uh, I'm trying to see what else I have. I got some purple liners right here. I think I'll just do black. I'll just do black. I'll do this black gel pencil down here in the lower waterline add a little bit more of the shadow I use just to kind of blend them smoke it out a little bit now it's time for mascara and this is the mascara I picked up this is the uh, Jacoma open up peacock mascara I love the packaging on it the wand is really unique too look at this it has those little spikes on it Okay, so here's the mascara. I haven't dipped back into the tube. I'm just kind of going over it. It's giving separation, but I don't feel like it's thickening. I think it looks all right. I think I like the way it looks on the lower lash line versus the top lashes. It works, it gets the job done. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number one with the Glam palette. What do you guys think? I love this look. <laughs> I love the way it turned out. Everything performed better than what I was expecting. I'm very impressed. Okay, guys, we're going to move over now to the left eye and we're going to start working with Smoke and Roses. Okay, so for this palette, this is the one that didn't swatch that well. I was a little disappointed with some of the swatches in this, but I know you guys know already what this palette is <laughs> inspired by. Um, I am, where am I going to start? I think I'm going to start with this shade, then I'm going to work into this shade, and then this shade. These are like sequin shades, but I'm going to treat them as matte shades. So I'm going to start with this one first. This one is called Sandy, and I'm going to use that little blending brush that came in the set. Make sure there's no creases. All right, that shade's pretty good. That's blending out. I do not own the palette that this one is inspired by. But if you do, let me know what you think of the color story. If it's 
dead on or if it's a little different. I don't even know how that palette performs, but I know this shade is performing a lot better than what I was expecting it to. Okay, so I'm going in with that next shade called the Palisades. And I'm not using one of the brushes in the set, obviously, because I don't have, there wasn't a brush this size, but wow. This is some good payoff. This is some really good payoff, actually. Now I'm going to go in with that darker shade called Warmer Days. Same brush. Now the mattes are performing really well. I'm, I'm very impressed with the matte shades. I'm just a little worried about the shimmer shade, but we'll get to that right now. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little bit more of the first shade I used called Sandy. Um, I'm looking at this palette. Where do I? The shimmers just look so beautiful in the pan when you're looking at them. You know, this green right here is, you see, like it looks so pretty in the pan. And then when you swatch it, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one, I'm going to try this shade right here. The shade is called um, Sun's Out. I'm going to use this little brush that came in the set. I feel like it's an overspray, you know? Like the, well, we'll find out right now. Um, put that in. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, and I wanted to use one of those duochrome shades. So I'm just going to use this shimmer right here, and then we'll try using one of those duochrome shadows. The shimmers, it's, it's okay. You know, it's not the most impactful. They're more like traditional shimmers, and I would definitely spray your brush. I think this one would be the closest one that would go. I did pick up another one. It is this one over here. This is more of like a blue green. Oh, that's beautiful. This one, that blue-green one, I don't know what the name of it is. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a name on it. But I'm going to go in with the first one. Let's just see, let's just see what happens. You know what, I'm going to go over that shimmer a little bit. And then we can add one of those other shimmers on top of it. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay, guys, look, I'm trying to take these off. I know it's just with the tissue, but <laughs> they're not even coming off. I'm just taking that brush that I used for the darker shade, just kind of running it through right here. That looks beautiful. I almost don't even want to add anything to it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to touch it. But I am going to let it, let it dry for a second because it still feels wet. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to try this lip oil. My eyes closed, trying to keep that one eye closed. This is what it looks like. Hmm. This is a lip plumping oil. Ooh, that's beautiful. I like the large doe foot on it. Wow, that's pretty. That feels really good, too. Okay, for the lower lash line, um... You know, there's a lot of matte shades in here that are just really light. There's definitely more shimmers. I think I'm just going to keep it the same. I'm just going to go in with this darker matte um, that I used in the outer corner. And I'm going to use this little pointed pencil brush. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called um, Rum Season. Same brush. I did spray it. All right, guys, I am going to pop off camera, take care of the finishing touches, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number two. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look number two. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. This is the uh, purple liner that I picked up. It's just a small little pencil style eyeliner. This one is in the shade, it says Waterproof Cream Gel Liner 10. So that's what I put on the lower waterline. I am really loving the way this look turned out. I seriously had my doubts with the Smoke and Roses palette, but we managed to pull it together. And these liquid duo chrome shadows, 
think are a must have. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on all of these Timu makeup products. Okay guys, so the first impressions of all this makeup on the face, trying it out from Timu is that I am totally impressed. I didn't encounter a dud. I didn't encounter any duds. Nothing in this this haul was over eleven dollars. I am just, I'm so impressed. I think the only dud is gonna be the brush set. Yes, some of them are functional, but they're just a little too flimsy for my liking. Um, they do have other brush sets available, so maybe you'd want to try, you know, a different one. I like that they have different colors, and I like that they come in a little pouch, but for me, there's only going to be a handful of those brushes that I'll continue to use on a daily basis. You guys know I have my favorite makeup brushes already, so I don't know. That could be possibly a pass item, but I think the the color switch which I've been using in today's video is perfect one of these little color switches just always comes in handy and I love that it has a cat on it the mascara is just okay this could also be another possible dud in the bunch I just I think it's all right but I do have other mascaras that I like um, the job that they do better I think these this trio of lipsticks right here these are really glossy really hydrating I think these are worth checking out if you just want a nice flush of color to the lips. I wasn't able to try this one out, but this is one of the ones that swatched amazingly well when I did my initial um, haul video over all of these products. This is the lipstick and liquid lipstick. So you get a bullet lipstick on this side, which is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And then you get a matte liquid lipstick on the other side. So I guess you can, you know, pick and choose. Do you want to do bullet? Do you want to do um, a liquid lipstick that day? Let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes because these are pretty awesome. I mean, I just, I can't get over, I can't get over it, especially this one, the Glam Palette. Um, if you don't want to fork out the hefty price tag of what this palette is inspired by, go this route because you're going to get the same effect. You're going to get almost the same shades. This performed beautifully. I love this smoky look I was able to achieve. And I am shocked with the Smoke and Roses palette because swatching this out, I wasn't very impressed. But the matte shades that I used did perform really well. And some of the shimmers, I think that some of the shimmers are going to be hit or miss. But definitely spray your brush with some setting spray. Pick it up, spray the brush with setting spray, then apply it to the eye. And I think that's going to work amazingly well. Guys, these um, liquid duochrome shadows, where did I put them? I put everything back in this basket right here. These are definitely worth checking out. I want to say these were like four or five dollars each, so they're a little bit more expensive, but hey, look at the look you're getting right here. You're really getting that duochrome effect with these. So these put them on your must try list. I don't think you can go wrong with the sponges. They applied the makeup really well. Um, and I'm definitely going to be using these going forward. And I love the case. It's like a little carton of eggs. I think it is too cute. The highlighter is stunning highlighter is beautiful. I am definitely, you're going to see me using that highlighter quite a bit. Um, the primer was nice. If you're looking for a color correcting primer, that's also going to be hydrating. I thought this went, um, the foundation went on top of this primer perfectly. I will definitely be getting some more use out of that. I definitely think you can pass on this blush palette. I didn't even want to try it out for you guys because it swatched so poorly in that initial video. So this is definitely a pass on, but the blush blush that you need to get is this glowy blush right here. This one is absolutely beautiful from the packaging to how it performs. I just, I love this one so, so much. This one is, um, it doesn't have the shade name. It just says CD8091 on the back. Smart Girl Reading Blush, but it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I thought the contour palette was cute. I didn't get a chance to use the highlighter that was in the center, but if you are of a very 
fair complexion, this is definitely one that I think you're going to want to have. I think you'll get a lot of use out of this one. I liked the black eyeliner. I liked the, um, the pen style eyeliner. I liked the gel liner. I thought those worked perfectly. I've already used these before, so I know that these tinkle razors work out just fine. The powder went on top of the foundation. Um, great. It looks smooth under my eye area. I'm definitely matte wherever I place this powder, but I'm not too, too matte. I still feel like I have a nice glow going on to my complexion. The concealer brush right here, I think this is a must have. This is a really solid, this, is, this brush feels really good. It feels really different from those green brushes that I was using. And once again, this is the uh, M08 brush. What else do I have in here? Oh, this concealer, I think you can pass on this one. This is the Pop Feel Full Cover Concealer. This one just didn't do didn't do too much for me. That's why I didn't go ahead and keep using it. I thought it was just a little too light of coverage. Um, but the one I absolutely recommend, the one I'm wearing as foundation today is this one right here in shade one. This is the full cover concealer and we just use this all over the face. I use this as foundation, concealer, and eyeshadow primer and it did perfect. Again, this would be perfect for travel. The eyebrow pencil, I liked it. I will definitely continue to use it. But like I said, I always go in with a brow pen and I didn't get a brow pen in this little haul. So that's definitely something that I am going to be picking up next Timu haul. The little uh, makeup puffs, I definitely recommend trying to use these, trying to switch over instead of using your damp beauty sponge to apply powder, try using one of these puffs instead. These are dry. That's how you use them. I think you're going to find that you get a better powder application with this type of product. I've really, I've been making the switch over to these and I've really loved it. The uh, lip oil that I have on right now is this one right here. It's a plumping lip oil, but it's not too tingly to where it's going to burn your lips. It's just the perfect amount of tingle. And I love the shade it is. Love it. I, I think it's, it's really, really nice. The perfume goes without saying guys, you know, the bottle is beautiful. Like this is a weighted glass bottle with attention to detail. It's just not my scent. It's not my scent. So I think I'm going to pass this along to somebody that I know can get um, some more use out of it. And with that guys, that wraps up today's Timu makeup but try on haul, download the Timu app because if you download the Timu app, there are always crazy deals going on. I do have, I'm pretty sure I have a code and I'll have my code in the description box um, so that you guys can maybe save a little bit of money on your next Timu haul. Don't forget they have free shipping and free returns within 90 days. There's everything over there, guys. Take, take time. You're going to want to take time to browse the app, to browse the website because there's just so much. There's so much going on. Thank you so much, Timu, for sponsoring today's video. And you're going to be seeing more Timu on my channel because I do have a couple other things coming up with them. Let me know what look was your favorite. Are you team glam? Are you team smoking roses? What do you think of the entire complexion? Sound off in the comments down below and don't forget to download that Timu app. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys. Drink your water. Cheers. I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.